in what is perhaps one of the most significant findings. NASA has announced the first and accidental discovery or detection of possible biosignatures on Mars. The Perseverance rover came upon a rock that contains the first evidence of organic matter. What does this mean? Was there ancient microbial life on Mars? And is this fossil evidence of its presence? Maybe. Let's have a look. NASA's Perseverance rover is currently roaming on the surface of Mars at the Jezero crater with the sole purpose of discovering evidence of past or present life on the planet. It looks for biosignatures and looks like it might have found the very first confirmed one. This rock was discovered at the edge of an ancient river valley and in fact, Perseverance was purposely sent to this location so that it can study rocks that were located near past bodies of water. We know that Mars in the past was similar to Earth and had global seas. And then later, the sun stripped away its atmosphere and all the water dried up. The new discovery is that of a rock that shows chemical signatures indicating that life could have existed here millions or billions of years ago. This rock contains sulfates or sulfur. Sulfur is an element that is deeply associated with life along with carbon, oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen. It is the seventh most common mineral found in our own body. Our proteins, the basic building blocks of our body contain sulfur. And what we call organic compounds, in fact, contain molecules of carbon and hydrogen that are attached to sulfur as well. We know that Mars contained all these compounds likely in the past. Millions of years ago, Mars was just like a mini Earth. These sulfur compounds, such as the one that was discovered on Mars right now, these organic compounds, while associated with life, can also be produced by non-biological sources. And this we have not yet confirmed on Mars. So this rock that was discovered is about a meter wide and it is the first confirmed detection of organic compounds on Mars. So in that context, even though we don't know whether this was biological in origin, the discovery is still significant. But there's more. Along the length of the rock run lines called veins. These veins are made of white calcium sulfate. But also, upon closer observation by Perseverance, which has geological tools there, the team found out that the veins had tiny crystals of olivine, which forms out of lava and magma when water gets trapped there. So, they formed likely under extremely high temperatures that melt rocks and therefore could not have been biological. Maybe. Also, between these veins are banded iron remains. This is hematite and it's the same rusty compound that gives the planet itself its orange color. It's made of iron. When observed up close, these bands of iron contain white spots that are surrounded by a black ring. These are called leopard spots or reduction spots. And this is a major, major discovery. The white spots occur on rocks when iron rusts and then reacts with other chemicals and dissolves and gets washed away. The pigment and the iron that is soluble in water subsequently gets washed away and this leaves behind a discolored spot. On Earth, these leopard spots occur on rocks that contain the fossils of microbes. That's because chemical reactions that involve iron and phosphates are sources of energy for microbes. But we don't know if this is the case on Mars yet, and it could be. But without any more evidence, what theories have scientists proposed? One theory is that the olivine and sulfur was deposited into the rock at extremely high temperatures in the Jezero crater, leading to a chemical reaction that resulted in leopard spots with no biological matter involved. And of course, the alternative theory is that these are chemical fossils with microorganisms existing inside the rock at some point and introducing these compounds. Remember, fossils don't have to be physical evidence of the structure of an organism. It can be chemical and 
biosignatures that are left behind in rocks and water and in atmosphere. We have confirmed microbes doing this in rocks time and again on Earth, but coming to this conclusion on Mars is tricky. Non-biological causes first need to be ruled out. But to do that, the samples have to come back to Earth and be studied under the more powerful and sophisticated equipment that scientists have here on ground than on the Perseverance rover on Mars. The results will only be known after a sample return mission is completed to Mars. Meanwhile, Perseverance will continue to look out for other bits of evidence and more organic compounds. Whether this was the first discovery of evidence of past life on Mars is something we will know only much, much later. But irrespective, this is one of the most significant geological and astrobiological discoveries we've ever made so far about the solar system.